Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Moosewin1 and today I'm gonna come at you with something a little different. So, I don't know. The other day I just had a I had a hankering for a good tier list, so I think today I'm gonna, I'm gonna officially lay out the law of the land. These are my favorite Kingdom Hearts characters. Now, this is gonna be a little interesting. There are some characters on here that I'll explain when we get to. But for the most part, characters like, uh, I guess the only one this really applies to is like Lushu or Zigbar. When we get to Zigbar, I'm going to rank him as Lushu. I'm not going to rank him as, as Zigbar. I don't know. Maybe I won't, maybe I won't. We'll find out when we get there. But that being said, let's get into this tier list. Starting with Terra. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I was never really a huge Terra fan to begin with. I've come to appreciate his story a lot. Like that's that's cool and all, but I don't know. Right now, I feel like Terra Terra's a B tier character. Now, Master Ericus. Now, I like what he did. I like what he represented as a whole character. Like I, he's not too great, I guess. But as a whole character, I like that he represented that light is not always good. Like it's not always as cut and dry as as people think it is. That being said, I think I'll also put him in B tier along with his student. Now, Vanitas, I'm gonna be honest, Vanitas is garbage. I do not like this man. But he had one good line in Birth by Sleep. And that was when he was talking to Ventus and saying, Oh, you used to be too broken to talk back. Like that that was pretty raw. But I still think he goes in D tier. Now, okay, Lushu. Lushu is a very interesting case. As if he was like just Zigbar and just doing all that, I feel like he'd go on like B or C tier. But because he ended up being Lushu, that opens the door to like a lot of things he can do. He has a ton of potential, which to me puts him in B tier. Below Terra, but above Master Ericus. E tier. Need I say more? Also, in E tier, there's only one tier. And it's garbage. Uh, let's see. Vexen slash Evan. He had some really good moments in KH3. He had some funny moments with like Demix. Also, him wanting to atone with uh, Ansem the Wise was pretty good. Plus, he created Chion, one of my favorite characters. So, he goes in C tier. Garbage. Uh, Ienzo. Now, the thing is, Ienzo did not do next to... He did next to nothing in chain of memories but kh3 he had he was okay he was pretty good so i'd say he's he's below vexen Syx slash isa i know he goes in b tier somewhere he goes in b tier somewhere the thing is i didn't really care for him as a character his boss fights were always kind of fun but i like him more than master ericus and i like him more than lushu like, I, I do think he's going to be really cool as far as being with the Sea Assault Trio and being back in a somebody form. I do not like him more than Terra. So, that being said, I think I'll leave, I'll leave him there. That's good for now. Uh, let's see. Axel. S tier. Easy. Now, okay. Those of you who don't, for those of you who don't know, I don't like Sora, Okay. He has been, for the most part, a very one-dimensional character. He had, like, he's always been the happy-go-lucky guy, you know, he's always happy, he always has a smile on his face, and that's cool, but that gets old after a while. And I think, like, the Kingdom Hearts 3 definitely started a good character arc for him, because he realizes he has consequences that actually, you know, affect him and his friends, because, like, now people basically have to go and save him from Quadratum. Which, you know, he sacrificed himself to protect his friends and, you know, save Kyrie and all that. So, having said, I still think Sora goes in A tier. But, you know, who also goes in A tier that I like better than Sora, that above Sora? Demix. And you know why? Because he had a fun, like, no, no, his boss fight was garbage, I'm sorry. He didn't have a fun boss fight. He hasn't done much in this series thus far. But you know what? He is hilarious, and I love that. He's the comedy, <laughs> he's the comedy relief character, and I appreciate that. Like he's just there to do one job and it's be funny. And you know what? He does a a great job of that. Now, 
Luke Sword is interesting. Because I know it goes in B tier somewhere. But the thing is, Luke Sword, as Luke Sword, as Luke Sword we've seen thus far, you know, the gambler of fate, he's he would definitely be like C tier. But the fact that he has something to do with Quadratum and Yazora and Varum and all that, that he means he has he has a lot of potential to be to be something. And I kind of he has more potential than Master Ericus because Master Ericus is dead. So we're gonna put him in B tier. That's I think that's good. Marluxia though. I don't much care for him as a character, but I'll still put him above Lushu and all these characters on here simply because of his design, because it is arguably one of the most unique in the series. Like scene, uh, Chain of Memories, she, okay. Chain of Memories, she was okay. Uh, and she hasn't been anywhere else besides KH3. Having said though, Still like her more than Sora. And some Seeker of Darkness. <laughs> no, okay. But, I don't know. Larxene and Demix, for some reason, I like more than Sora. Because they only have, as far as like, as far as the series goes, as far as the roles they played up until now, they have one job. They're, they're supposed to be fairly one-dimensional characters. You know, they come on the, they, they come on the screen, they do their job, and they leave. And every time they're on screen, they have like, a commanding presence like you're focused on them more than you're focused on anyone else and i appreciate that having said and some secret darkness i feel like he goes in oh man he's, he's going down there uh you know what he wasn't beat here but like loads beats here because i never cared for his boss fight in kh1 the only reason he's not in c tier is because he was the catalyst for riku's character progression which we'll get to later Zemnis. S tier, easy. Needs needs no explanation. Young Xehanort, I never really cared for him. I didn't like him. He was just kind of he was kind of there. He was very smart. He was very well kept and well spoken. But that being said, I like him more than Seeker of Darkness. Now Master Xehanort, I like more than Larxene, but I do not like more than Demix. Like he. Need I say more? He's Master Xehanort. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't think he needs any introduction or explanation. Ansem the Wise. Uh, I'll put him above Vanitas because he hasn't really done much thus far. But I just never really cared for him. He was annoying in Cage too, as Diz talking all that crap to Broxus and Shion and all that. He, but I like him more than these three. So hey, you, you did something, bud. Now Hainer. Hainer, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know what? Hainer goes in A tier. And you know what? I'm just gonna do this now, because as individual characters, they're like they're not much, but as a group, they are like they are the the normal side of things. They are the slice of life in Kingdom Hearts, and I appreciate that because the thing is, everyone on this list, besides maybe like Ansem the Wise or something. Everyone on this list is like flying around and doing all these crazy things, but I like spending time with these guys because they they are like the the one calm of normalcy in this Kingdom Hearts storm. Okay, so that's why I like them so much. Now Riku, Riku has a really good character arc. I didn't enjoy him like in early games, but in the more recent games like Dream Drop Distance and Three, I I've really enjoyed him like in his character. So you know what? He's the first one of three characters to actually beat beat Demix. Now, the Master of Masters, he is a very interesting character. He's one of like the few on this list that we know like barely anything about. But the Master of Masters has a ton of potential. And like that alone puts him like in B tier. But the thing is, every time we've seen him, he has like such a commanding presence. Like every time you're on screen you're you're wondering what he's gonna do and what he's gonna say. And because everything he says potentially could affect the rest of the series. Like, I'm not trying to overhype. I'm not trying to gas him up. But I think the Master of Masters is not better than Sora. But I still would put him in A tier. You know? Just because he's such a mystery. And I think we're all trying to figure out what's going on. It's because of that that makes him an, an interesting character. Now, Ira, I'm not gonna lie. We don't know much about any of the foretellers, but I'm, I'm so at this one I'm just going off of what we know. I still like Ira more than all of these characters. 
Ava, I like more than Ira. I said, he's my favorite foreteller. I like the brute strength aesthetic. It's really cool. Envy, I, li I don't like as much as these three. And then Gula, Gula is in D tier. The, no, no, he's a, he's above Anitas. Now, Ephemer is also one of those weird characters because we don't know. Well, I'm not gonna say we don't know. We know a little bit about him, but I like him more than the Foretellers, but not more than Lushu in like any of these characters. And Scald is kind of in the same boat, but she doesn't have as much personality, or at least not that I care about. I like her more than... She's she's in B tier somewhere. She's not in C tier. She's... Oh, man. She's... Yeah, she's, she's the bottom of C tier. Now... Alright. Kyrie. Kyrie... I don't know how I feel about her. Like, she has not done anything thus far and like i don't like that but the thing is in three and remind and melody memory she was great and i loved it but i don't know she has a lot of potential for phase two and i appreciate that which is why she goes above master xehanort i like yeah kairi kairi's i like kairi more than master xehanort streletia uh you're not alive so by default you should go and eat here next to these guys. But considering you've done nothing to annoy me thus far, I'll put you in seats here. Brain? Brain is Oh man, Brain, I don't I don't know where to put you. Cause you've been you've been carrying some work. You've been doing some work in Union Cross. But do I like you more than Terra? Do I like you more than Terra? No, I don't like you more than Terra. Uh, I like you more than Ephemer. Yeah, I like you more than Ephemer. You're going B tier. Chirithi has done... Okay, Chirithi, I don't like Chirithi. The voice is... Like, the voice actor is fine, but the like the noise that, that it makes when it's like descending from the heavens, that little like shrieking noise or whatever, gets on my nerves quite frequently every time they're in a the scene. So you know what? C, uh, D tier. But I still like you more than Gula. And I like you more than Anson the Wise. Yeah, you go in D tier. So obviously, you're fine. Roxas, S tier. Easy. Uh, Nominee. The thing is, I like Nominee. Because she had, like, a really good character arc in one and... Or no, Chain of Memories in two. Like, I really enjoyed that. She, like, she, has, a, she has a really cool theme. And a lot of potential for phase two. But I do not like her more than Master Xehanort. But I'll put her, she's in like the same category. She's like right above the Twilight Town gang. Uh, yeah, I, th I think A tier is fine. Shion, S tier, easy. I believe in Sea Salt Supremacy. Repliku, Repliku never really cared for. Gotta be honest with you. I did not much care for her story. It was, it was a nice story, I guess, but I just never, like, I see why people like him, but never really cared. But, that being said, I think I'll put him... I like him more than young Xehanort. I'll put him in beats here. Aqua... I'm not gonna lie, Aqua's character, okay. Well, before we get to these three, I'll put all of these in D tier. Just because... Oh, I like her design more than these guys, so I don't really care about them, but I like them more than E tier only has one tier and it's garbage, which is why he goes there too. But Aqua, I don't know. She she has a really good arc and I've enjoyed it so far. You know what? I'll put Aqua. She, she goes in A tier. Yeah, she goes in A tier above, above these guys. Ventus. Hmm. He has a lot of stuff going for him. He has a lot of potential because, you know, with him being from Union Cross and being a former Union leader and harboring darkness, he has a lot of potential. Potential would be good. But he's, I, I don't know. There's just nothing yet makes me want to put him, put him in A tier. Maybe how, like, maybe in the future, once we see how all of that affects his relationships with, like, Terra and Aqua and how that in turn affects him, we'll, we'll be fine with that. 
But once we see that, maybe I'll put him in A tier. But for now, he was in B tier. And finally, the Azora. Uh, the thing is, I don't know if he has a ton of potential. Well, that's not true. I know, I, he has a crazy amount of potential. But, I don't know. Like, he has a cool design. I like the, the heterochromia is a nice touch. Uh, for now, I'll put him in... Oh, oh well, he's not in C tier. For now, I'll put him in B tier. He's the top of B tier. Uh, is there anyone else I want to change around? Yes. Uh, no, I think it's good. Yeah, I think this is this is the official Moose Wayne tier list. So in S tier, by the way, S tier and E tier, they have no ranking. S tier is top tier, E tier is garbage. That's the ranking. Uh, in S tier, you got Axel, Roxas, Shion, the Sea Salt Trio, and Xemnas. A tier, you got <laughs> Demix, Riku, Kyrie. Master Xehanort, Nominee, The Twilight Town Gang, Aqua Luxine, Sora, and The Master of Masters. B tier, you got Gizora, Ventus, Terra, Saix, Lorium, Lushu, Brain, Ephemer, The Foretellers, except Gula, Luke Sword, Master Ericus, Repliku, The Two Xehanorts that no one cares about, and Scold. C tier, you got Lorium's Dead Sister, Two of the Lab Coat Gang. D tier, you got Chirithi, Ansem, Gula, Vanitas, and all the dark road characters i guess and e tier they're trash so they don't matter but that's gonna be all for me today if you like this tier list you know maybe leave a like for your boy maybe consider subscribing for more kingdom hearts content but if you don't like this tier list you should join the official community discord server and send me yours and just as a reminder this is my opinion this is not an, any objective fact or anything like that so if you disagree that's fine that's cool I just ask that you please be respectful, but for now, that's going to be all from me, so this is Moose Wayne, signing off.